How's it going, guys? And welcome to the continuation of a series that I dropped like over a year ago. A lot of you guys know that I've done the full version levels of some of Rob Top's levels. So what that means is that uh, some creators have taken the entire song of the original Rob Top levels, like, you know, Electrodynamic, Stereo Madness and all that, and basically made a level including Rob Top's original portion of that level and then extending it to the completion of the entire song. So making Electrodynamics instead of like a minute and a half, like four minutes long, right? Now I have done that for every single Rob Top level in uh, normal Geometry Dash. I've done it for the Sub-Zero levels. I've done it for the Meltdown levels. However, I never did do the Geometry Dash world levels and there's a bunch of them. So wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of levels for me to play. Like in the original levels, maybe the level would double in length, sometimes triple depending on the length of the song. However, in this, like if the level was originally only 20 seconds, but the song is four minutes long, then that's an extension of three minutes and 40 seconds, which means that most of the level is the extension. This means that creators have a lot of freedom to do what they want. And the first two levels, which we're going to be doing today, Payload and Beast Mode, uh, both by Sloth Block, which, by the way, made the Jump Trash Meltdown full versions, if I recall, the ones that I played. Uh, yeah, Payload and Beast Mode, the first two levels in Jump Trash World are pretty tough. A beast Mode is hard, but really consistent and really fun. A Payload, which is the first level in Jump Trash World, so we're starting with it is kind of annoying because it's just cube game mode the entire way through and it goes four times speed for this section that's like 40 seconds long and there's moving objects and i just ah! it's so long too man i'm gonna do a round of practice and i'm gonna show you guys some of the hard parts so this is the original rob top part of it and uh we're not that far in and i think it ends like very soon I think it ends right here. That's the last jump. That is at 8% of the level. <laughs> 8%. This is all extension. That's bananas. I mean, it stays true to the original, the styling of it. And all it had was cube game mode in uh, the Rob Top portion of it. And so with that said, I mean, it stays true to it. It's just cube the whole way through, but it gets faster and faster. It goes to two times speed, to three times speed, then to four times speed, which is very bombastic and very difficult to read. It's it's very, very fast. See, at this point when it hadn't changed speeds yet, I was like, man, this is gonna be so chill. It's just gonna be like this the whole way. It's not chill. Two times speed, okay, you know, two times, yo, I can handle that. Going a little bit faster, just a little bit. And then it's slowing down and the music kind of gets a little scary. Whoa, 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 you're like, okay, no, no it's not gonna be that bad. I, no, no, don't worry. This is gonna be like the beginning, right? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, by the way, there is a uh, 240 hertz bug, though. So when I do get to that jump, I have to switch on my FPS bypass, go to 60 hertz, and then voila, I go through, and then I switch back. And then it goes three times speed, and you're like, whoa, okay. It's getting a little crazy here, but three times speed, it's still doable. You can still read it. Not that bad. Oh, and then it teases you. I love it how it teases you, though, with the four times. That is cool. And then it slows down. You're like, nice. It's not going to go four times. You wouldn't do that to me, level. You were just you were just joking around. Ha ha. Right? Ha. Jokes. Okay, three times again, but the moving objects start. Oh my God, it is like that section right there. That's the part I died to, I think when I was trying this before, because I did start trying this like a while ago and I gave up on it. So you got to jump there, jump there. And then it kind of looks like you can fall because they're lower, but then they go up with the moving objects and you're like, oh no, wait a sec. And you got to jump like, ooh man, the way those objects move up like that, man, I'm not, not a fan, not a fan. See, not a, it just trips you out because you're like, you're looking really far forward over to the right to see what's coming up is it's, you can't memorize like everything, you know? Oh, oh, it's gonna, it's, it's dropping. No, no, no. A little more complex of patterns but still not so bad. I can read this, you know, under pressure. I might not be able to, but I can read this now. And then you're like, okay, one last section, but then you put the moving objects in at four times speed. You, that's cruel, dude. It's cruel. Yo, it's a moving, it's nice. They're not moving that crazy, but it's just, oh boy. 
the UI. Whoa, okay, what? I have no way, dude. If I died to that in normal, I would I'd probably just quit playing Geom Trash forever. Wow. Oh no. Dude, a four time section is it's it's wild, man. I'm really scared of the moving objects in the three times and the four times. The other parts I'm not too worried about. Even the other four times parts aren't bad. But the moving objects part is... Oh, boy. Dude, it's just there's so many... I, why did I think that was going to go up, man? Ah, it's... God, I hate reading that. That's so annoying. And all the way back to the beginning. Oh, that's like minutes back. Maybe it's just me, though. You know what? Could be just that I have a hard time reading moving objects because I'm such an old man playing this game. Oh, boy, my age. What? Nice. Should take me to four times. I'm scared.
Wow. Whew, almost jumped too early. Come on. Oh my god, dude! I fluked it! I got past the four times section first try! I did not expect that. I thought I was gonna be here forever. <laughs> Whoa! Man, that's an intense ending with the moving objects and the four times speed. Whoa, son! And I know I made it look easy, but it's pretty tough, and I did. I promise you I fluked that. That is not easy to read, at least for me anyways, dude. Four times is crazy. Uh, dude, Payload Full ended up being a lot more fun than I thought just because I, I beat it so easily. It could have been a frustrating experience for sure, but uh, I like the way it went to the song, man. It was intense. The song Payload is a banger and uh, it stayed true to the original, you know, like just with the single game mode, uh, which is cool, but I, it is with the mo <sighs> I would say the only part that's kind of frustrating are the moving objects that kind of like pop into place. Just because it, it sort of tricks the mind a little bit into thinking you got to jump when you don't really got to jump. That was a little annoying. Other than that, I think it's a cool level. Cool extended uh, version. A cool, not extended, cool full version of the level. Payload full by Slothblock. That was awesome. The next one is Beast Mode full, which this is like overall a way better level. It's incredible. However, it does deviate from the original. It includes like all game modes. And there are some fairly tough parts at the end. Mostly it's pretty chill. But fairly tough parts at the end. I would say that this level is a little more sight readable, but there's like three or four jumps that are very not sight readable. However, because there's only three or four of those jumps, they're pretty easy to remember, you know? Whereas in Payload, you'd better remember those moving objects in the fast parts. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to be doing so good, right? Um, And this one, by the way, visually looks awesome. Like, you, you guys will see. I'm not going to show you guys the full thing in practice. I'm just going to show you some moments that might kill me. And then you guys will be able to see, like, the full completion of it. But um, I think we're already into the full portion. <laughs> We've already passed uh, the Rob Top part. The Geometry Rush world levels are so short. Nice. See, doesn't it? It just visually looks awesome. Like, it stays true to the original, but the way everything lights up, like, there's so much more polish on this one, um, which is really cool. And, man, it, it flows so much better, too. It, it's really cool. Lots of various game modes, though, that you got to remember. Um, but it is very sight readable. I will say, like, up to this point, like, no, pro I'll have no problem, like, sight reading. And this as well. Nice. Cool, man. Cool, man. It's just, like, there's more variety, you know? Like, I love this part. Like, it's great, man. It, it's it's so polished. This one, this, this full version is uh, just a really good full version. It's awesome. That's what I mean by it ramps up at the end. Like, it just it keeps on switching gameplay modes, and there's, like, uh transitions and, and a lot of like speed changes and stuff because the song goes pretty wild so it's pretty nuts there's just, there's just a lot more to remember at the end i want to say pretty fair gameplay though it's just there there's a lot there's a lot to all of a sudden remember but it's not it's not that bad though you know like there's a lot of room to do these inputs it's just you you better know them for sure right whereas like the first 40 percent level is pretty easy to remember yeah, i think it's just because 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 each of the parts in this level are much more memorable than in payload because like in in uh in payload a lot of the parts are they're, they're a little samey you know um but in this because like everything feels a little more unique each section it's pretty easy to remember like those hard jumps that you do have to remember so yeah this level's just more consistent you know dude i have a feeling i'm going to have much worse luck with this level even though this level it should be more consistent i'm i just i have a bad feeling man let's go come on let's beast mode let's beast mode beast mode let's go No! Did... Ow. Ah, uh, just a cube jump. It's always the cube, man. It's always just a misplaced cube jump. <laughs> I forgot there were blue jump orbs down there. I think I got to go practice the end of the level. I'm just going to download it. I'm not going all the way there. Dude, 
dude, what happened? I was, I was up in the lane, but what happened? What happened? I'm actually not entirely sure how I died there. Like, was I too close to the wall? Like, I might have been. I just, I didn't, I just don't know, right? Oh, no. Dude. What? What? Oh, no. I'm starting to lose focus. I think that's it. Nice. <laughs> Dude, I was starting to lose focus because in I don't, I don't know what it is. Long levels, it's really easy to start losing your train of thought and remembering like small little details like as they pop up, you know, like, oh, I forgot this was a timing. Uh, So yeah, I did it though. Uh, and wow, that was fun. That was, dude, that's a good level. Beast mode full is awesome. Like payload full was just kind of eh. Beast mode full was really good. <laughs> Wow, like there was great music sync. There was great music sync and payload as well. Um, but the variation in game modes, the gameplay was fun. That was solid, dude. That was a really good full version. Uh, wow, that makes me really excited for the other eight full versions there are out there. Although I don't think Slothblock has all the other full versions.
I did save these other ones though. The next one is Machina Years Full and Frontlines. And they're from this guy called Square Zebra. Um, and they're supposed to be actually pretty good. So I'll uh, be checking those out in the next video. Although I think they're hard just like these ones were. So we'll see how many I actually get around to doing. I think there are full versions of every single world level, but I'll have to find the other ones. I have found these ones. Um, if you guys know some, you can leave a comment. Let me know. Help me out a little bit. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will finish the full version level series uh, by completing Geometry Ash World because that's it. That's what's left after this. There's nothing left. I've done every single Rob Top level there is conceivable. Um, I don't think there's a full challenge level. Did I do that? I, 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 no, I don't think there is. I think I might have done it. It's just like the song ends. Like it's just a short little blip. So there's no version. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like helps me out a lot. If you're not subscribed, subscribe because most of you aren't. It's crazy. As always, peace.